All right, so in this problem, we want to find which of the following choices represents the same relationship as the given table. So as you can see, I've already solved for the slope of this linear function and found the point, point slope form um, function in green. And you are more than welcome to pause the video to take a closer look to see how I solved that. But without solving, you can also tell a certain pattern that has been created between the x and the y and that is that every time that the y grows by 1 the x grows by 4 and that is consistent throughout the entire um, function so now that we have a recognized pattern and our point slope form function we can move on to a to see if it is correct or not all right so if we take a look at our graph, the, the best way to see if this graph correlates with our um, table, we can pick a point on the graph and see if it correlates with our function. So if we pick our first point, 0, 4, in our, in our given table, we can try and see if we can find this point on the graph. So if I go to, um, four, I'm sorry, 4, 0, we go to 4, and I should have a point here at 0, but it does not exist. And we have a different point here at 8. So instead of having the point for 0, we have the point here. We have 4, 8, which is not equal and not correct. So, and that doesn't line up, and therefore A will not be corresponding to the given table. All right, so now let's move on to B. Here we have a given table that we have to see if it matches or corresponds to our given table in the problem. So here we can use our pattern that we recognized. And in our original pattern, every time that Y grew by one, the X grew by four. And here, every time that the Y grows by one, the X also grows by one. And that is a different pattern. Therefore, B is also not correct. All right, and now let's move on to C. Here we can see that, let's zoom this in. If we take a look at this linear function, we can recognize two points that are also given to us in our original table. Here we have the point 4, 0, and here we have the point 8, 1. All right. So this point, if we take a look back at our, at our table, we have these two points. We have these two points here, the first two points that are given. And the first two points that are given, um, if, we f if we find these two points, let's move back to C. If we um, find these two points, only one linear function can connect these two lines together. Therefore, C has to be the right answer if both of the points are found on the graph. And so C will be our right answer. And let's take a quick look at why D is not right. Um, if we have Y equals, let's write this out as we read, Y is equivalent to four times the value of X and a constant, which is plus, and a constant C where c equals 4. So instead of c, we can write 4. Let's rewrite it. y equals 4x. And instead of 4, or instead of c, we're going to write 4. And this function is not equivalent to the function, the linear function that we are given in the beginning of the problem, and therefore is incorrect. And c will be our final answer.